I'm Aspo in the Four Peaks Mini Bar, and this is another special retort. Stop me if you've heard this before. The roster doesn't make sense. These guys can't play together. They flamed out. It's a complete and utter disaster. Yeah, we've heard all that about the Phoenix Suns, but guess what? We also heard that about the Dallas Mavericks and the Minnesota Timberwolves last year, and yet they're both in the Western Conference Finals right now. When it came to the Rudy Gobert trade from the Jazz to Minnesota, all the grades came back in as C's or D's. Nobody liked the deal initially because they gave up four first-round picks. They gave up some talent on their roster. Not huge young talent. It was mostly veteran guys, but they gave up players and picks to get Rudy Gobert on a roster that already had a big man. It didn't make sense how these guys would work together. And when you looked at it last year in its first full season, the iteration got them an eighth seed in the playoffs and a first round exit. When you look at Dallas, they got Kyrie Irving last year from the Brooklyn Nets. They gave up some draft picks, some players, nothing huge, but people still thought, will this work? Kyrie and Luka both need the ball in their hands. Both tend to be in the style of a point guard. Kyrie being traditional and Luka being a guy that ran point uh, the entire time that he's been in Dallas. And people said, it can't work. Look, they missed the playoffs completely. Fast forward a year with some tweaks on their benches, another year under their belt playing together. And now they're both in the Western Conference Finals. Why is it that people feel that the Phoenix Suns are completely devoid of any chance of competing next year in the Western Conference. Sure, OKC is up and coming. Minnesota has shown prowess to be able to do it now. Dallas has broken through uh, and gotten to another Western Conference Finals with a chance to make it to the Finals with Kyrie and Luka. There's a lot of talent in the West. But that was the case going into this year. That was the case in 2021. That's almost always the case that the Western Conference is jam-packed with big names and teams that can surprise. So why can't the Phoenix Suns do what we've seen Minnesota and what we saw Dallas do? This offseason is key to that. They have to make the right moves to solidify their bench, to give them a second unit that gives them a puncher's chance in some of these games. There's no doubt about that. And it's very much what Dallas did at the trade deadline this year, getting P.J. Washington. It's very much what Minnesota has done over the last few years, building that bench and also developing the guys that are on their roster while figuring out how Gobert and Towns can play together. Throw salaries out the window. Because it doesn't matter whether Devin Booker is a max player or Kevin Durant is or Bradley Beal is. What matters is, is the talent there and can they figure out how to play together and can they be creative enough to fill out the rest of the roster? And as we've seen, you can have a massive change in fortunes in a little under 12 months if you stick together and you figure out the little details. That's why the doom and gloom and the fact that the Phoenix Suns fans and many in the national media feel like the house is on fire and there's no way to put it out seems a bit premature. Mavs fans felt that way when they didn't make the playoffs. Wolves fans were questioning everything when they lost in the first round last year. But now people say that they wouldn't trade spots with the Phoenix Suns and the talent that they have on this roster. And they wouldn't at the moment, but things change dramatically in a short period of time. And I think we're going to look back 12 months from now and wonder, what were we thinking when it came to the Phoenix Suns? I'm Espo, and this has been a PHNX Special Retort.